Hey guys, it's Ari in the place to be. Uh, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and also follow me on my social media handles down below in the description box. But today is very special because I'm gonna be showing you guys one of the first talents that I ever developed. And that is drawing. Um, I've been doing this since I was a little child, three, four years old. And the first things that I ever learned how to do. Um, you know what I'm saying? I probably would've learned how to play an instrument first if they had one laying around. There was always a pen and pad. So that's what I learned how to do. I spent most of my academic career learning how to do this. Um, when I initially graduated high school, I wanted to go to college for this, but it didn't pan out that way due to family and uh, financial aid reasons. But we're gonna get into some real cool here. All right, so this is, this is some of the work that I did back in 2016 that I'm most proud of. I was doing this in high school, preparing to go to college. Some of my best work, you know. And I would really just try to have as much imagination about what I was doing as much as possible. Uh, I, I really like this one because a lot of people don't know that Michael Jackson actually worked on the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 video game soundtrack. Um, so I thought, oh, Michael Jackson, Speed Demon, Sonic's all about that speed. You know, just, it's just really about being a kid for me when I draw, I really think. Got this one inspired by John Henry. This is back in 2017. John Henry was a mighty man, y'all. This piece used to catch eyes. Um, this I drew this kind of um, as I was coming of age, realizing like what it meant for black women in my life to be who they are in America. And that kind of introduced me to intersection, excuse me, intersectionality, <laughs> I think. Um, I think that's the word I want to use. Um, in, in terms of feminism, you know, um, and just, it, it would be remiss of me to not be aware of the things that I've learned in, in terms of uh, growing into the radical, person that I am today. Uh, my politics is very radical. I'm very far to the left. Uh, I will admit though, sometimes my politics are not radical enough. So this that's what this piece means to me, really. And this piece, of course, being an inspiration from um, Parliament Funkadelic. I love me some funk. Word to George Clinton up there in the mothership. We have come to reclaim the pyramids. All things are funky around here. I don't even have an explanation for this one. It's just, that was my that was my old Instagram tag right there. Rolling the Vogue. That's where the Vogue in my new um, Ari Vogue tag comes from. It comes from this. I gotta learn to stop drawing. I had to learn to stop drawing naked women, <laughs> naked black women, because I was like, that's not the way. So by the time I got to 2018, I wanted to differentiate myself from certain artists on social media, especially guys like Marcus Prime. So I was like, I want to refrain from using uh, brown skin tones. So that's when I started getting into using aliens and shit. Um, this is another reference to George Clinton, um, Dr. Funkenstein. I looked at his video of performing that song live and I saw this cool jacket and hat that he had and I wanted to put that on a woman along with the infamous pop gun. You know what I'm saying? We always keep it funky, always keep it fashionable as well. This is the type of shit that goes on in my head. None of this shit should make sense. None of this shit is normal. I remember, I remember making this drawing and I loved it. It was a, uh, my reference photo was Tiana Taylor when she hit the runway and she was doing a strut. I loved the photo that this one person captured of her. So I was like, hmm, cat. So that's what I did with that. And this was the most recent drawing I've done as of late where um, during uh, quarantine, you know, we have a lot going on, but I've been able to really get back to who I am before I even had to pick up a job and whatnot. So out of nowhere, for the first time in like two years, like I picked up a pen and a marker and I just started drawing uh, my girl Leah. Shout out to Ava Aesthetics, Ali E TV on YouTube. Please hit her up. Um, I drew this two years ago. The reference photo was a photo of model Ebony Davis. I really liked that she was laying down, looking majestic. And I was like, oh, let me add a funky twist and make her look like a sphinx. So 
that's why I added the lion tail and the feline like hands and feet right um, I was thinking originally that I would draw this as like a gold statue of some sort but I'm actually running low on that color so um, I'll throw some gold accents in there but um, you still go to the statue vibe but she'll have a different color right I'm um, thinking for the background I have uh, some kind of green and for the bottom I'll have a zebra print because I recently saw her do a photo shoot with uh, those colors. All right so most of the colors I'm going to be using are going to be Copics but this will be the only Prisma color marker that I'll be using. Um, that'll be my green background. I brought along the black Copic for my zebra print background. I might actually color in the fro I'm not sure yet. This is the color I said I was running low on. Y28 line in gold for the Coke marker. I'm thinking uh, kind of a sweet red skin. So we got R37 Carmine. And uh, when I start adding values, um, we're gonna go based off this neutral gray. All right, so first off, I'm starting off with the Carmine color. I wanted to get that beautiful color laid out first. Um, but, you know, this is usually what I do. I usually start off drawing the subject first, and that's when, after I'm done with that, I'll move on to backgrounds and foregrounds like I'll do later. Something is very oddly satisfying about just watching me fill in those lines. So much to the point where I have thought about creating a coloring book that I could sell. Because this shit right here is definitely do it for me like my mind cleared out in a way that it hadn't cleared out in ages while I'm doing this Usually when coloring Copic or Prism color markers, you gotta color in circles and you gotta you gotta be kinda smart with it because the ink dries kinda fast. And you have to try to move in a way to where you let the ink do most of the work for you while laying down that first layer of ink. Um, going back later to uh, lay down any dimension, any values, any shading. Now, a lot of this talent displayed here is innate for me because I do come from a family of illustrators, sculptors, sculpted, eh, I'm sorry, sculpturists, artists of different sorts, you know, especially from my mom's side of the family, they really did the visual art thing. However, you know, talent is nothing but a pursued interest. So this took years for me to learn how to do. As far as like the actual drawing, it only took me a couple months to really learn how to color these markers properly. I just love color, man. Life is full of color, and if I can lay that shit down on paper, even better. You know, I feel like there are too many dull things in life. So whenever I draw, that's why I try to add as much color and contrast as possible, because I want to see it all. And I apply that philosophy to not just when I would draw. Um, it's amazing how like I spent most of my formative years doing this, and how it applies to almost everything else that I do, uh, be it the way that I dress my clothes, how I decorate my living spaces, uh, the cars that I pick out when I buy them because every car I've had has been a bright color. Uh, my first one was white. The last two have been red. Uh, you know, I've been working on adding more and more color to my wardrobe. Um, I like hanging out with different kinds of people, lovely people, lively people. 
you know, color is all around and I, I chase it so I'm always around it and I, I try to be like color so that it's always attracted to me as well. Alright, so now is the part where I take my micron pen and I'm just going to apply a bunch of dots, um, small dots so that I can make this skin not look so fleshy, but more so like a red stone because I, I still, to some extent, want to go for that statue idea. And here I go, adding some cracks here and there all across the uh, subject, just adding them wherever I feel like it's right, you know, there's no... There's no rhyme or reason to this, the way that I'm doing it. I just kind of, I freestyle all of this shit. I'm not going to lie, adding these zebra print stripes were actually, uh, it was actually more time consuming than I expected to be, um, but once I understood the shapes of, you know, the zebra print being mostly lines and um, incomplete triangles, it was kind of easy to go from there. Um, also, another thought that kind of crossed my mind while I was doing this, for the most part, you know, this was therapeutic and my mind did clear, but this thought crossed my mind. You know, I read about what happened uh, with uh, Marcus Prime and stuff, and... It's so interesting 
uh, to hear about him as of late because I remember drawing throughout my whole senior year and everybody comparing my work to his, everyone that was tuned in to my work that is. And you know, it's so interesting because it's like I never felt like I was copying him because a lot of the inspirations he had, I also had too. I'm a big fan of classic anime like Lup Lupin the Third, Speed Racer, um, Akira, Dragon Ball Z, um, all those kind of different things. I grew up for the most part learning realism, but also kind of like to have somewhat of a cartoony flair to the things I drew. So I think that's where the connection kind of is. I'm not sure. But from what I read about him uh, recently with like, basically he kind of got outed as um, within the Me Too movement on a Twitter kind of um, type of situation. And um, let's be a PSA to all my niggas out there. Stop sending dick pics uh, unless the lady asks for it. Um, I don't know a woman alive that's asking for dick pics. I only know of women asking for nut videos. But um, yeah, let's uh, read the room, my guy. <laughs> Right here i'm just gonna fill up the whole page that green background um with the way that i colored it the um it's not gonna be a smooth texture so i might as well go with the texture of the background and i kind of just added more zebra stripes but in just green in the background which honestly came out kind of fly um and you're gonna see it in a little second but this right here to me is artistic growth like even when I step away for a while, I'd be amazed at myself. I'm like, damn, bro, I still got it. Um, Cause honestly, like about four or five years ago, I was borderline on some hotel shit, and I'm glad I strayed away from that. Um, Cause that's a part of the work, really. When you come into consciousness, when you come into being aware of the things around you, and how every little thing is connected. You know, nothing exists in a vacuum. And right is right, is wrong is wrong. You know. 
and wrapping it up i'm just adding an outline to the figure so she can stand out more bringing her forward because that's what thicker lines do this shit came out pretty tight not gonna lie i'm gonna go ahead and toot my own horn on that because honestly this whole week i had low-key been doubting myself with everybody wanting me to do this kind of video on my instagram and i had been sketching i didn't know what the fuck else to do because i did not like the sketches i was drawing so i found this old drawing that i never finished and honestly miss ebony davis came in clutch look at her she is pushing through yes yes honestly i may have to revisit this drawing with a larger canvas and paint this because i would definitely hang this on my wall if i had one no nah, because I, I do not i do not live by myself nor do i have my own apartment but one day i will and my shit gonna be the fly shit ever i promise because this this right here is is funk the fuck out like come on son like here i go adding more value because that's what niggas need that's what the streets need yeah clean up the desk gonna straighten it out so y'all can see the presentation Alright guys, I want to thank you guys for watching, you know, um, that drawing and doing it was actually kind of really therapeutic for me. So, um, I don't really want to monetize my art for that reason, I kind of want to get back into the habit of enjoying um, drawing as for drawing. However, um, if anybody would like to purchase any prints or stickers or anything, you know, let me know and I, I may seriously reconsider, you know, um, probably do stickers or I, I don't know, whatever. You know but just uh let me know like comment subscribe let me know if you think i should make like another like art page on a social media platform like on instagram or something and yeah i'll check you guys later